hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Mary Guy Manuel your favorite solar energy guide in today's video i'll be showing you how to use your digital multimeter as a pro if you don't have money to buy fluke meter or to buy clam meter because they are mostly expensive so this digital multimeter have different measurement the first one here is to read a resistor ranging from 200 ohms or from zero ohms to about 200 mega ohms right here we have a, a voltage which is a direct voltage we have two types of voltage the direct voltage and the alternating vo voltage this by the right is to read direct voltage why this is to read uh, alternating voltage and you have to remember that most of us the electrician or the solar installers the basic things we use the digital multimeter for is to measure current or to measure voltage yeah so that's what I'll be focusing on. We are going to focus on how to read direct voltage and uh, how to read alternating voltage. Then we'll also look at how to read uh, direct current and how to read alternating current. Don't forget, in order for you to understand that you are taking a measurement using a direct voltage or direct current, you have to check out for this very symbol. This symbol represents direct voltage or direct current. Then when it comes to alternating current, you have this symbol down here close to the V. It represents sinusoidal. Don't forget, if you want to read anything in voltage, your positive probe have to be on this side, right? This side carrying your V, carrying your ohm sign, and carrying your diode sign. Uh, your, your, black, your black probe is always on the comb. Your black probe is not to leave here, right? Don't forget to be looking at your pointer to make sure your pointer is well set to the right side. So I'm turning my pointer to the right, which is alternating voltage, because what I'm going to read now is alternating voltage. So you can see we have about 220 or 230 volts coming from this very source of electricity right now. The next thing we'll be testing is the direct voltage. So turn your pointer again to 1000 volts, 1000 direct volts, because you are assuming that you don't know the voltage coming from that source of electricity. So you set your pointer to the highest in order not for your meter to get damaged. Then I have my DSTV decoder here, which is a 12 volt system. I have the port. All I have to do is to what? Connect my negative here, right? Then slot in my positive here. And I have about 10 volts, right? In order to get the accurate, since I've known that my voltage is not up to 100 volts, I'll bring my pointer to 200 volts to get the accurate voltage coming from my adapter. I have about 11.8 volt coming from my adapter. Next thing I'll be reading is alternating current. So make sure your pointer is facing the alternating current. The alternating current you can measure from 2 milliamp up to 20 amps. 20 amp is the highest you can use the digital multimeter to read. Is to remove my positive probe and put it on this 20A uh, 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 sign or this 20A. This 20A represents 20 amps. So I'll remove this from this and slot it in here right uh, presently i have my sound system and i have my tv on which i'll be reading the amount of current that will be flowing through to them like you can see my sound system is off right i have connected my positive to the terminals of my electronics my sound system and my tv set then this negative will go to the source of electricity you slot it in this way right then allow it and see your meter reading the amount of current going to your electronics Right, my sound system is up. You can see this red light. It wasn't here initially, so let me touch it so that it will come on. You can see it. So the amount of current flowing through right now is about zero point, uh, let's say zero point one or zero point fourteen amps. So probably my TV might be draining up to eight amps. My sound system is draining about three amps. If I pull this out, everything goes off. You see, so. I have no amount of current being drained right now. This is how to read your alternating current. Then when it comes to direct current, you can do short circuit uh, test or short circuit current test using your digital multimeter. And when you want to do a short circuit current test, your current is always more than what your source of electricity is generating. For example, we have uh, a 12 volt adapter here, which is output 12 volt and uh, to give out a current of two amp. So let's use our digital multimeter through a short circuit current test to see the amount of current that this adapter will generate that will give out. So don't forget, your pointer have to be set, right? We turn our pointer to 20, which is the maximum. This, this external is always the negative when it comes to adapter. This will go in is your positive. 
So observe the meter. We have about 4.1 amp, which is like times 2 of what the adapter is generating. So this is how to use your digital multimeter to read voltage and current because these are the basics we the uh, electrician or solar installers uses. If you find this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to share this video and don't forget to turn on your notification button for more educational videos like this.